Okay, so the Jets decided that they're going to play Aaron Rodgers in the preseason finale against the New York Giants. And to me, it's a dilemma. It's, it's absolutely a dilemma for me because I had already expected not to see the starters anymore for the New York Giants, you know, this third preseason game. Um, and like in recent years, the fourth preseason game was pretty much just everybody that was on the bubble, um, pretty much the last hurrah for people that you weren't going to keep on the team. That was their game. That was their game, a whole game for them to try to you know make a name for themselves possibly uh get a roster spot but also audition themselves you know for other teams when you have the massive cut down but because you know the preseason went from four games to now three games you know it's it's this is now where the where it used to be the dress rehearsal in the third week now that third week is that finale so i didn't expect the jets i expected them to play their starters this week but i didn't expect them to play against us and now i'm stuck in a dilemma because here's the thing as good as the new york giants looked against the carolina panthers i assume since they announced that you know aaron Rodgers is going to be starting that most of the team is going to start i'm assuming it's going to be the first team offense and first team defense and could this be that they you know they're just trying to get him in there so he can look good against our backups um because again if you follow hard knocks um and if you follow the jets you know that one of their weaknesses is the offensive line even though they have a lot of value or they drafted a lot of value in that position um their o-line play and i don't know what the rankings are but i'm just going off of what you know what's being said is that their offensive line is not the best and then i'm when i'm watching hard knocks and i'm looking at the comments that aaron Rodgers makes during those practices I think that there that there is some concern as far as being able to protect a guy like Aaron Rodgers. So if you're going to start Aaron Rodgers, why not start him against the New York Giants backups? But here's the thing. It's almost like you, you spilt the beans a little too early. Now that we know that you're going to be starting your, your uh, ones, especially on offense, because you're not going to run Aaron Rodgers out there with a bunch of backups. You're going to play your starters on offense. And then I would assume you're going to play your starters on defense because you start the year off against the Buffalo Bills, and I'm pretty sure you don't want your starters to have their first real live action, you know, the majority of your starters, to have their first time action against a, diviz a division rival like, you know, the Buffalo Bills. So it just makes sense for them to uh, go ahead and warm up their starters against our backups. But now to me, as, as a competitor inside of me, I'm, I'm thinking like, you know what not only i know you want to see a good look from aaron Rodgers in this office against our backups but here's the thing if you're going to play your starters i want to see my young secondary against your starters i want to see my starting secondary against the jets starting offense i want to see trey hawkins versus a guy like wilson i want to see banks against a guy like mccall hardman or, or or lazard i want to see it uh adore jackson even even possibly actually i might just sit adore jackson still and, and and see what i can what i have with flat but i, I want to see how this goes i want to see um Kayvon thibodeau and aziz ojalari against that that offensive line i want to see how um our defensive front works against that offensive line too that's a real good look again this is aaron Rodgers. this is still aaron Rodgers, and um if we can hold up against aaron Rodgers, i think that that's some good momentum to take into the first week now again with with it only being three games in the preseason just looking at my calendar now you still get you still get a full week in between that first game so bumps and bruises you have time for those to heal you have time um to evaluate your roster to make the moves that you need to make across the waiver wires and things like that but it's kind of it, i kind of want to see it i, I kind of want to see our starters versus the jet starters and i know we're gonna we're gonna play in week eight and that's fantastic but again just like they want to look i want us to have a good look against uh one of these top teams because we believe that the new york jets have one of these top defenses and the way that our offense has been performing in training camp and now we have the one series um in preseason i would love to see our ones go against their ones as well 
especially on defense. Um, I understand if you still want to sit Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley on the offensive side, but on the defensive side, I would love to see our starting defense because I think um, the defense still has a lot to do, a lot to work on and things like that. I would love to see for sure our starting defense against Aaron Rodgers in that Jets offense man so let me know what you guys think about that man do, do you want to play your starters again or have you seen enough do you want to sit down what kind of competitive spirit do you have regarding this situation i would love to see that in the comments down below but for me if you're asking me i definitely want to see our starting defense against aaron Rodgers and the jets um as far as offense goes i think it will be a fantastic look again you're playing one of the top defenses in the league and if we can have um the same type of showing the same type of showing against um against the jets that would be a fantastic thing to have as far as momentum going into the dallas game in week one so i'm gonna leave it at that it's just a quick video what do you think about aaron Rodgers being um starting in preseason three for the jets and how do you feel about the new york giants giants possibly possibly playing their starters with this new news or does this even matter to, to Dable? You know, they have set plans and maybe this doesn't affect their decision making at all. But for me as a fan, I would love to see it. I would love to see it. So I want to thank you guys for vibing with me. Please like, comment and subscribe. And for one Giants fan to another, this is Big Dash Nose, Big Blue Nation. Let's go.